So you're thinking of becoming an anti-Semite? Brilliant. Come in, we're just getting started. I'm Marlon Solomon and I'll be your Jewish guide on your anti-Jewish journey. Now a proper anti-Semite doesn't just make jokes about noses and money. Although mine is... A, it doesn't matter. No, a proper anti-Semite hides their hatred by dressing it up under a cloak of respectability. It's not clever. Now, rather than saying, I don't like Jews, they might just say, I don't like Zionists. Now, for the uninitiated, and to remind you, for men being initiated, it involves the old... Um, <laughs> Zionism is the belief that Jews should have their own homeland and the right to choose its future. It's the movement for Jewish self-determination, and it grew as a movement, as a reaction to European anti-Semitism. Israel, basically. Now, if some corners of the internet are to be believed, Zionism is nothing more than an evil, racist ideology, and to be a Zionist, you must unquestioningly support all the actions of the Israeli government. Now, the vast majority of Jews in Britain, 93% of us, say that Zionism or Israel plays a part in their identity. So does that mean that they're all racists? Well, what do you think? Now, there's an old saying, two Jews, three opinions. And there's plenty of disagreement amongst Jews about what Zionism actually means to them. And just because you're a Zionist, it doesn't mean that you have to agree with anything or everything that the Israeli government does. So when people talk about the Zionists without qualifying what they mean, they're generalizing about most Jews. And it's dangerous because generalizing about the vast majority of any minority group will lead to racism. But that doesn't mean that criticizing Zionism is racist. If you said to me, listen, I think that the Zionist movements had terrible consequences for the Palestinian people, I might say, well, so do I. Another Jewish person might feel totally different. In short, you can assume as much about someone who says they're a Zionist as you can by their favorite TV show. Love Island? You're a genocidal monster. But what's this all got to do with learning how to be an anti-Semite? Well, you can very quickly expand the type and variety of the terms you use for Jew. You can start with plain old Zionist, but why not give Zio a go? Or if you really want to f*** them off, try Zio-Nazi to be really offensive. Something else you can do is use Zionism to accuse a British Jew of not being truly British because they support the existence of a Jewish state. It's dead racist. And instead of saying that Jews are running the world, you could say that Zionism is a secret global power structure that conspires to manipulate governments, cause wars, destabilize countries, and incites hatred between communities. Now, don't let me tell you how to be an anti-Semite. You should feel free to experiment. If you're wondering whether something is legitimate criticism of Israel or whether it slips into anti-Semitism, just take an anti-Semitic statement. Swap the word Jew for Zionist and see how it sounds. For example, if this sentence is anti-Semitic, Jews run the banks and control the global financial markets, then so is this. Zionists run the bank and control the global financial markets. Jews control the media. Zionists control the media. Jews created ISIS and are behind global terrorism. Zionists created ISIS and are behind global terrorism. We're very busy. See, it's easy. Now, Sometimes anti-Zionism can also cover up anti-Semitism when Jews are collectively blamed for the actions of the Israeli government, which is about as fair as blaming an ordinary British citizen for bad teeth, the Iraq war, or Katie Hopkins. So there you go. You can be anti-Semitic and nobody needs to know. If you enjoyed these videos and you want to know more about anti-Semitism, subscribe to the channel and click these links.